Have any of you ever had a dream, specifically one about what you want to be in the future, career path? Have any of those dreams ever been put down by yourself or people around you? Well, I'm someone who has my own dreams. I've known since I was really young that I wanted to do something in the entertainment industry, specifically acting. It started off with singing, then modeling, and I finalized on acting. I'm someone who's sort of been around the entertainment industry for a while. My parents, uh, my mom, we used to work with magazines, and my father is an editor, and he works with commercials. So I'm always around. I'm always just involved. And it's been something that I've always said that I wanted to do. And acting is a job that not everyone is very open to. It might not be one of the most secure job. There's a lot of competitiveness out there in this industry. There's a lot of people who want to do these jobs. And without actually saying it, I actually felt whenever I talk to some people, I can feel that they're not saying I'm not good and I can't do anything, but I can feel that they think that this job is not something anyone should do because it's not secure. And I got over those fears and self-doubts and doubts from other people. And I want to tell you today my main sort of four tips of how I got over that. So for tip number one, figuring out yourself or learning whether or not this is something you just like doing as a hobby or is it a passion. Our school offered career week, which um, this took place about two years ago. And I started to feel like if acting is actually something I want to do for the rest of my life, or is it just something that I felt nice doing? So I studied into other careers, something I like, and I thought of a career that I might enjoy, and that career is being a spy. Yes, a spy like in those Mission Impossible movies. The spy in my concept is someone who wears suits and have very cool gadgets and technology that is out of this world. And then I slowly realized that if any of you in the crowd knows me, I would not survive a day if I become a spy. I would be the first to start crying and beg to go home. So then I went to a different sort of career, law. And I went far enough into law that I bought this book. It was an investment that I never thought I would make, um, but I was so invested in the idea of being a lawyer. So I bought this book, and I studied it. And I mean studied, like annotated it. And I did that for about, I'll say, two months. And then ever since, until a couple of days ago, this book has been rotting in my bookshelf for the past year, and it has not been touched in a really long time. Um, after I went out to figure out other career paths that I might be able to choose, I slowly started to realize that acting isn't just something I like doing, but it's something I actually really want to do for the rest of my life. Which leads me to another a tip that I have, which is surrounding yourself with positive influences. I'm very fortunate enough to have parents who support me in everything that I do, specifically the career path that I've chosen for myself. I also have teachers and friends who supported me. Now, there have been bumps along the way of believing that people around me supported me. Um, about a year ago, I fully convinced myself that my parents didn't actually support me in the job and are just saying that they supported me just to make me feel better. And I woke up one day on my birthday and I saw this bracelet sitting next to me on my bedside. It wasn't a bracelet that is worth fortune. Um, it was a bracelet that was actually from an Instagram shop 
But what added so much meaning to this specific bracelet is that the engraving inside says the name Ida Angsten. Ida Angsten is a name that my parents made for me as a stage name for whenever I become an actress and get to follow my dreams. And they said to me, Ida Angsten is someone that we appreciate. We know that that's who you are, but it's just not her time to shine. It's time for me to study, to get to where I want to be. Now, I also got a chance to join the school production and drama club, where I found so many good, amazing teachers who supported me, and so many incredibly like, talented and open-minded people who made me feel safe and in the same community. Which then brings me to my third tip. Studying your future. As I said, I joined the school production. That's one step that I took. It can be as small as joining a one-day sort of acting course or whatever you're interested in. Or it could be further than that, like figuring out what college you want to go to, what like curriculars you have to do in order to get into those colleges. That's what I meant by studying your future. Studying your future also helps you figure out what your future might look like. It makes you realize that there are steps, there are pathways in order to get there, and it's not just an impossible dream that you won't be able to reach. All of the first three tips that I said all ties in with my fourth and final tip, which is to believe in yourself. Believing in yourself is an easy sentence to say. It's a sentence that everyone says, actually. But believing in myself, I'm someone who struggles with believing in myself. I have my insecurities. I th overthink everything. But when it comes to acting, I have a different mindset to it. I'm someone who gets jealous really easily. I, sometimes when someone does something better than me, my automatic mindset goes to think, to put that person down, make myself feel better about myself. But I realized that acting, I have a different mindset to it. I see someone doing better than I am, and I think, why do I like their performance so much? And I think, how do I use that talent and that technique and make myself better? And a lot of these things make me believe in myself more, that this is something I want to do. And the first three tips, when I know that this is something I love doing, it's something I want to do. I know that there are people around me who support me and will always be there to catch me if I fall. And I know what my future might look like and what I'm aiming towards, the big steps and the small steps. That helped me believe in myself naturally without even having to try. Believing in yourself would be something that comes naturally to you. That is my TED speech. I hope that whatever message you received, you might be able to help yourself, um, your family members or your friends who might be going through the same thing get through this. One day, I will be a lawyer. I will be a spy. Maybe not in the Secret Service or the FBI, but maybe in some Hollywood movie in Mission Impossible or James Bond somewhere. You might see me there, and you will think back to this moment that you saw me talk about this because I made it. Thank you so much.